What's up, you beautiful, sexy ass people, man? We are back at it again with another Genshin Impact video, baby. Man, we are doing Albe Albedo. Albedo. Not too sure how to pronounce that. Let me know in the comments how to pronounce that. But um, someone, <coughs> ah! Ah! Um, someone in the comments said, hey, can you react to Albedo? Albedo. I'm sure I'm fucking butchering the pronunciation. I'm sorry. We're going to get straight into it, man. Before we start, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want more Gitch Impact content, man. You guys have been loving the videos, man. Giving some great ass support, and I really appreciate it, man. Let me know in the comments who you want me to do next, what gameplay you want to see. Appreciate it, man. Let's get right into it. All right. This is the Japanese dub. So see if I can pinpoint maybe an anime I see. Sucrose uses today. That's another character. Oh, so he's very historical. That's right. Wasn't he the one that like he he paints, right? <clears throat> Dude, he's very majestic. He kind of like um. Dude. He has some kind of like Eula vibes, like he can like dance. His hips don't lie, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> he can stand on that? I forgot. <clears throat> I remember the first time I saw this, I was confused what his element was, but it's Geo. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Why was he looking at the animals? I remember this is like some Kingdom Hearts vibes, bro. Earth. That's right. He's like very historical, it seems. He cares about the history. Very good alchemist. I bet you his talent is, is something to do with um, crafting. His passive talent. Dude, his soundtrack hits. Damn, this is the best soundtrack of any character that month I've, I've seen. Damn. <laughs> oh, he got a Dude, that was cute as hell, and the soundtrack was the best soundtrack I would have to say of any character demo I've seen so far. That was some like. Dope bells, house music, shit. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's go see the miscellany, man. The city of Pastorals, Mondstadt, is as free as the wind. Even an outsider like Albedo can Albedo. become chief alchemist of the Knights of Favonius. Yes, you But on are. the other hand, his mastery of alchemy means that no one ever would have taken much persuading. So he's like really, Mondstadt really good at alchemy. Was never a nation known for its alchemy. And he helps but it. since Albedo's arrival, the knight's achievements in the field sit only behind those of Sumeru's top scholars. Sumeru's. Knights and academics. And we Not meet him in the story, that nice. expect to hear in the same sentence. Yep, he's Geo. Instead of leading the charge in combat, the fine. calm and collected Albedo is better suited to providing support with reliable geo damage. Oh, he's more of Still, a support. His skill set allows him to deal powerful attacks. What is that flower, dude? Holds his own on he can the stand on that. Creation is the basis of alchemy. Albedo's knowledge allows him to find ways to improve crafting recipes and make better use of materials. So what's it? When crafting weapon ascension materials, he has a chance of doubling the crafting output. Oh, what? Albedo's normal attack can combo up to five <coughs> strikes with his sword. Yo. Holding the attack the button sword like a certain amount of stamina and performs two swift forward slashes. That's sick. Tap his elemental skill to create this is a what I want to know. using alchemy, dealing area of effect geo damage. Okay, it's aerial, area of effect. Solar isotoma. Periodically, when an enemy within the field takes damage, a transient blossom is generated at the enemy's location. 
The oh. transient blossom scales off Albedo's defense, dealing AoE geo damage to surrounding enemies. A transient blossom can only be generated once every two seconds. Wait, okay, hold on. Let's run that back real quick. Okay. Blossom scales off Albedo's defense, Albedo's defense. dealing AoE geo damage to surrounding enemies. A so the more defense Albedo has, the more damage that will do. Seconds. Additionally, making contact okay. with the solar ice Interesting. That's, that's a cool way to build him. To accumulate. Forming a crystallized platform that lifts the character up to a certain height. Only one platform can exist at a time. Strategic use of the crystallized platform lets you employ plunging attacks Dude. in battle and helps you deal with enemies up above. When adventuring, hold Albedo's that elemental That is another skill mechanic to that's dope. Ice Atoma's position. Wait, 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 wait. Hold Albedo's <coughs> elemental skill to choose the solar isotoma's position. Oh, and then you can and cheese use it. The crystallized platform to get past <laughs> environmental <laughs> obstacles more quickly. I love those cheesing elemental skill After exploration the skills, dude. Light, That's so dope. Transient blossoms deal extra damage against enemies with low health. Okay. Low health. He seems like a very good support. Crystallized geo energy bursts forth at Albedo's Ooh. command, dealing AOE geo damage in front of Albedo. If Albedo's very solar quick. isotoma is still is present on the battlefield, seven fatal blossoms are generated in the solar wait, wait, wait. isotoma, dealing okay. AOE geo damage in front of Albedo. If Albedo's solar, solar isotoma, isotoma is still present on the battlefield, oh. seven fatal blossoms are generated in the solar isotoma field. That's a dope combo. Dealing AOE geo damage. After unlocking nice. the talent Homuncular Nature, Albedo's Elemental Burst increases nearby party members' elemental mastery for a period of time. That is a dope-ass fucking support. Albedo's skill set is a rare and invaluable asset in combat. Creative use of I would the solar love to have him in my party, dude. diversifies the battle, paving the <coughs> party's way to certain victory. When the battle begins, create a Solar Ice Atoma with yes. Albedo's Elemental skill. Use the other As one to start attacking. I would think Shao would be very beneficial. Zhao and Albedo. I feel like that's one of the best combos in the game. Let me know in the comments. Reactions. That seems very Solar dope. Isotoma also enables party members to unleash plunging attacks. Oh yes! When energy is full, have Albedo unleash an elemental burst, giving the whole party oh my a performance God. boost with increased elemental mastery. And then you can switch to Zhao again with its elemental mastery boost. Oh, that's this is so the synergy for this guy is so dope. No one can dispute Albedo's talent. Hell no, nah, man. Any kind of cute possesses, making me feel some type of way, not gonna the lie. Destruction of a glorious nation. All that most people know of him is his title, Crida Prince. Crida Prince. And that he gained his position in the Knights on recommendation from Alice the Adventurer. Is it Alice's this, Cleese mom? The young man is a stranger to them, a complete mystery. And the essence of his knowledge is equally unknown. So he knows a lot, bro. But I know it well. It hails from Kanria, the art of Chemia. Oh, he. Soil and chalk, the universe and earth, pure dust and the birth of human life. Oh, dude, what the There is fuck? no mistaking it. I am content to watch most crises play out from the sidelines, but if Albedo were ever to make a single wrong move, I could not let myself ignore it. Wow. So they have to... So the narrator... Oh, man. And let me talk to you guys all more personal. Oh! Dude, like... It seems like... So that little part at the end, dude, where the narrator was like, if he makes a wrong move, I have to see to it myself. That means Albedo is very dangerous because just because of his presence, his knowledge, dude, he can in, in the wrong hands with his knowledge. It can really uh, bring despair. I think I'm not too I'm not too familiar with the narrator, man. But if he has to step in to stop Albedo, if, if he makes a wrong move or wrong turn in his life, that's crazy. And Albedo, man, his synergy just for every character, I feel like. Any transformation burst from other characters is very complementary for Albedo, man. Because you, you'll use the skill, El Albedo's elemental skill, right? Get that damage or whatever. I'm going to switch to maybe even Razor, dude. If Razor has his burst, actually elemental skill transformation will probably be more beneficial because of uh, the, the better cooldown and more 
how pronounced it will be available. So you do that. Switch to the transformation, do that. And then when Albedo's energy is full, do use the burst, get the elemental mastery, and then switch back to another. Oh man, switch, switch, switch. This is that. Dude, he is S tier support. S tier support, dude. Oh my God. That is crazy, man. And just his personality in general, dude. I just want him in my party just for the per even if he wasn't good at all in his damage his personality the way he carries himself his knowledge his background makes me want to have him in my party I want him as an ally on my side like he's like a a main like in an anime he'd be the main support character dude damn <laughs> that's cool Anyways, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, man, make sure to hit the like button if you haven't already. Hit that like button, baby. Subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you know more. So you know when my videos come out, man. Because you know it's coming, baby. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.